What do we know about the moon? Today, we know that the moon is covered by craters as well as dust and debris from comets, asteroids, and meteoroid impacts. We know that the moon's dark areas, called Maria, which is Latin for seas, are not actually seas. Instead, they are craters that lava seeped into billions of years ago. We know that the moon has almost no atmosphere and only about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. We even know that there is quite a bit of frozen water tucked away in craters near the moon's poles. The moon and its captivating craters. The moon has been a source of fascination for humanity since time immemorial. As Earth's only natural satellite, it plays a crucial role in our planet's dynamics, from stabilizing Earth's axial tilt to influencing tides. But beyond its practical effects, the moon offers a stunning landscape filled with craters that tell the story of our solar system's turbulent history. The importance of lunar craters. Studying lunar craters provides invaluable insights into the history and evolution of the solar system. The distribution, size, and age of these craters offer clues about the frequency and intensity of impact events. This data helps scientists piece together the timeline of significant events that have shaped not only the moon, but also other celestial bodies. Why does the moon look the way it does? The moon's surface is scarred by past volcanic activity and countless impacts from interplanetary debris. For billions of years, objects like asteroids and comets have cratered the moon and pulverized its surface. Today, a layer of fragmented rock and glass called regolith covers the entire surface. There are also dark splotches visible on the moon called mare, Latin for seas. These are lowlands mostly carved out by impacts that filled up with magma and cooled into basalt. Lunar eclipse with Uranus Planetary Society member Zhang Wang from Shanghai, China, took this photo of this week's total lunar eclipse using binoculars and an iPhone. The small blue dot visible to the lower left of the moon, above a smaller dot, is distant Uranus. Image, Zhang Wang. From Earth, we mostly just see one side of the moon. Because of interactions between the moon's gravity and Earth's, the moon orbits with synchronous rotation. It rotates at the exact speed it orbits. In other words, the moon completes a full rotation in exactly the same time it takes to complete an orbit around Earth. As the moon travels around Earth, it continuously turns to face us, so we only see that same side, the far side of the moon the side we don't see, is often called the dark side, but that's not accurate. The far side is lit up by the sun half the time, just as often as the near side. Types of craters. Lunar craters come in various sizes and complexities. 
categorized mainly into three types, simple craters, small, bowl-shaped craters with smooth, rounded walls, typically less than 20 kilometers, 12 miles in diameter. Complex craters, larger craters featuring central peaks, terraced walls, and relatively flat floors. These craters can be several hundred kilometers in diameter. Impact basins, the largest type of crater. These basins are often several hundred kilometers across and surrounded by multiple rings of mountains. Some impact basins can exceed 1,000 kilometers in diameter. The Enchanting Mountains of the Moon. When we think of mountains, we often picture towering peaks on Earth, but the moon is home to its own impressive and mysterious mountain ranges. These lunar mountains, while not as tall as the giants found on Earth, offer a captivating glimpse into the geological history of our nearest celestial neighbor. Let's embark on a journey to explore the mountainous regions of the moon and unravel the secrets they hold. Formation and characteristics. The mountains on the moon are primarily formed through two processes, impacts and volcanic activity. Unlike Earth, the moon lacks plate tectonics, so its mountain ranges are not the result of tectonic forces. Instead, they are predominantly the byproduct of ancient colossal impacts and volcanic flows. The moon and its captivating craters. The moon has been a source of fascination for humanity since time immemorial. As Earth's only natural satellite, it plays a crucial role in our planet's dynamics, from stabilizing Earth's axial tilt to influencing tides. But beyond its practical effects, the moon offers a stunning landscape filled with craters that tell the story of our solar system's turbulent history. An overview of the moon. The moon is roughly 3,474 kilometers, 2,159 miles in diameter and orbits about 384,400 kilometers, 238,855 miles away from Earth. Its gravitational interaction with Earth stabilizes our planet's axial tilt, which helps maintain a stable climate. Additionally, the moon's surface is a record of billions of years of impact history, largely unaltered by atmospheric and geological processes that would erase similar evidence on Earth. Notable lunar mountains. Several mountain ranges and peaks on the moon stand out due to their size, structure, and prominence. Montes Apenninus. This mountain range is located on the moon's near side and forms the southeastern border of the Mare Imbrium. The Apennine Mountains stretch for about 600 kilometers, 370 miles, and include some of the highest peaks on the moon with heights reaching up to five kilometers, 3.1 miles. Montes Carpatus, 
Situated on the southern border of Mare Imbrium, this range features rugged terrain and peaks that rise sharply from the lunar surface. The Carpatus Mountains are remnants of the massive impact that created the Imbrium Basin. Montes Alpes. Found to the north of Mare. Imbrium, the Alpine range includes the famous Valley Vallis Alpes, a striking feature that cuts through the mountains like a grand lunar highway. The Alpes are characterized by their steep, sharp peaks and valleys. Montes Jura, encircling the Sinus Iridum, Bay of Rainbows, this range forms a dramatic arc with peaks rising to four kilometers, 2.5 miles. The Jura Mountains are remnants of a significant impact event that shaped the region. E. The formation of lunar craters. Lunar craters are predominantly formed by the impact of meteoroids, asteroids, and comets. When these space rocks collide with the moon, they release immense energy, excavating large depressions in the surface. This process can be likened to a colossal cosmic hammer strike, instantaneously creating a crater and often ejecting material far from the point of impact. Cultural significance. The moon holds a special place in human culture, symbolizing various mythologies, religions, and literary works. It has been a muse for poets, artists, and writers, inspiring countless pieces of art and literature. The moon's phases and cycles have also played a role in the development of calendars and timekeeping. Moon temperatures, a study in extremes. The moon's surface experiences some of the most extreme temperature variations in the solar system, largely due to its lack of atmosphere. Here's a closer look at the temperature dynamics on the lunar surface. Day and night temperature swings, daytime temperatures. During lunar daytime, temperatures can soar to a blistering 250 degrees Fahrenheit. 121 degrees Celsius at the equator. This intense heat is a result of direct sunlight hitting the surface without any atmospheric filtering. Nighttime temperatures. Conversely, when the moon enters its two week long night, Temperatures can plummet to a frigid negative 208 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 133 degrees Celsius. In the permanently shadowed craters near the poles, temperatures can drop even further, reaching as low as negative 410 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 246 degrees Celsius. Factors contributing to temperature extremes. Lack of atmosphere. The moon's exosphere is extremely thin, providing no insulation to retain heat. This results in rapid heating during the day and equally rapid cooling at night one. Solar radiation. The sun's energy directly impacts the lunar surface, causing significant temperature increases during the day. Permanently. Shadowed regions. Some craters near the moon's poles never receive sunlight leading to permanently cold conditions.
Conclusion. The mountains of the moon, though less imposing than those on Earth, offer a unique and captivating landscape that tells the story of our solar system's history. As we continue to study and explore these lunar peaks, we gain deeper insights into the processes that have shaped not only the moon, but also our planet and the broader cosmos. I hope you enjoyed the lunar journey with me. Thanks for watching. Share and comment and stay safe. Goodbye.